Each of these discs is a wafer of sapphire. They're about to be coated with the wonder material graphene, a layer of carbon just a single atom thick. This process being pioneered at this UK company has the potential to revolutionise microelectronics. Imagine computers with graphene chips. 50% less energy, a thousand times faster. So it really is a transformational material. Despite being well funded with an expanding list of clients, the head of this company has a problem, how to stay here. I think one of my biggest fears over the next few years is that we're going to have to move the business quite rapidly off the shores of the UK. And that's because there is more support, there is more capability for us to grow in other countries. These are the world's first graphene-based electronic chips and proof the UK can take a breakthrough from the laboratory and turn it into a technology that won't just generate growth and jobs but potentially change the world. Yet companies like this also illustrate how the UK is failing to create an environment in which small science and technology businesses go on to be world leaders. I want to combine our technology and science brilliance with our formidable financial services to turn Britain into the world's next Silicon Valley. The Chancellor championed science in his budget, protecting research and development funding from a much feared cut. The sector will be relieved, but to become Silicon Valley, the UK has to take its breakthroughs to the next level. It's not just about big brains aching with knowledge. It's not just about people kind of coming up with discoveries. It's then about creating a kind of pipeline where that knowledge and the technology and the expertise can be made useful to companies and to public services and to society. Realising that vision isn't just about throwing money at science. The UK doesn't currently have a Silicon Valley investment culture. Government-backed innovation hubs have yet to prove their true worth. Technologies like graphene computer chips are set to transform our lives, but whether they'll be made in Britain remains a question. Tom Clark, Sky News, Cambridgeshire.